Hey guys, how are you today? We are here with another design team challenge. So this month I challenged my design team members to come up with some gift ideas using my rubber stamps, of course, because that's the whole idea, right? So we have a few um, new steps coming out, stamp sets coming out for 2017. I have three of them here on the table. There are five of them. And let's see if I can find them. Okay, so here's a little art doll set. This one actually makes really cute um, ornaments, and I did make one, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, but they make really cute little um, um, art doll style ornaments, and of course all of the sets have words with them. And you do get a pair of wings with this one, along with a couple of different heads, three bodies, and three faces. Um, also, I have this one with some more animals on it, um, an elephant and friends. There's an owl, a bunny, a, a bird, um, a lion, a giraffe, and of course some more words. That's a cute, both of these would make cute um, gift tags, um, gift cards, um, anything like that. You could even do sort of a paper banner with them that would be really cute. Um, I have these three sets out. Um, this one is um, a doodle set. This one has a paintbrush and, of course, little just little doodle elements. Um, the Hamsa set, which also makes a cute um, ornament or gift tag. And then this one with some borders and lotus flowers. So one of the things I love to do with rubber stamps, of course, especially my own, is make little gift cards. And if you've watched my videos before, you've seen these little cards. And these are done with painty background papers, um, stamped elements from my different stamp designs and then words found out of magazines and they make really great gift cards. I just always have them around. I have a whole box of them. When I send, need to send a little note card to somebody, um, I have a box here with my cards and some envelopes and I can just write the card and um, put it in their bag. Um, you also can give a set of these um, as a gift, you know, do five or six cards with envelopes. I also, you know, frequently if I have extra paper, I stamp out um, designs and color them and have them here ready to go to make more cards with. Um, but I had some idea to do something a little bit different today. So I have this card here that was from an Art Snacks box video that I just did. And I'm not sure if it's going to be out by the time you see this or not. It might be. Um, but this was uh, where I was testing the products that Art Snacks came with. And this is actually a Zentangle card. And I thought I would take this and I want to stamp one of these on here. I think I want to stamp this one. Do I want to stamp that one? Maybe not. Wait. Because I think what I want to do is I want to tear off the black pen part. Because not only do I, I don't think I want it on there, but this is too wide. That was too wide to fit on. This is just colored cardstock to fit on here. And I really want it to fit on there, like kind of like that. And then maybe, okay, let's see. Maybe I want to stick the lotus on there. This is one of the lotus. This is the one off of the Hamsa set. I forgot to get a stamp block. How does that happen? All right, stamp block. So you can get my stamps in unmounted red rubber and mount them yourself to cling or other an, another mounting surface. Or you can get them uh, pre-done as a cling mount set, just like this, on a card. There is listings for um, all of the stamps in my Etsy shop. You can go over there. If you buy more than one set, you get a shipping discount. And um, let's see. Let's put the card stuck up here in case I mess this up, right? So I love the idea of stamping something in black over this kind of random watercolory background and turning what's essentially just a trash piece of paper into something um, more interesting. Let's see. So I have a little tiny word that says intentional. 
And then I have um, I, I really want to use this one, so laughter. So let's get those both stamped up in black. So anyway, I love the idea of taking a what's essentially a cardboard a piece of trash um, paper that you were going to throw away that you were just kind of doodling on and making it something nicer that you can you know put on a card and give to somebody intentional laughter it's nice and that's actually my handwriting I love that all right so let's take one of these the studio G stamp pads the bane of my existence I love the colors I like the ink but the stamp pads do not stick to the container at all. So if I turn this upside down, which is usually what I'm wanting to do, the whole thing will fall out. Ooh, I love that. So you can do something really simple like that, and a set of these would make a really cute gift. I'm going to use Tape Runner. Because, you know, I want to use Tape Runner, and it was the one thing I didn't get out before I turned the camera on. So, you know, why not? Alright. I've got it. All right. Now these pieces of cardstock paper are um, four and a half by six and a half folded in half. And the envelopes are I think they're an A1, European A1 size, and they fit perfectly. So how cute of a card is that? And could you see like a set of those cards um, as a gift? I, I, for one, would love if a set of cards like that. And they could be used as cards or they could be, you know, put together and you could do a little artwork on them either way. I love that. That's a cute card. Okay, that goes in the box. Let's do one more or two more. <laughs> I have this other like teal colored piece. So I have this like scribbly bit that I did. It's part of that same piece of paper. I kind of want to, I think, I think, I think, um, stars maybe? So these are some doodle stars that I did. I guess we should put the words away. All right, so let's take that same color that we used on the other um, card and let's ink up our stars. I love this one because it could be used um, to decorate a background page. You could use it to um, decorate some tissue paper to collage with. It just, this stars makes a really great pattern. All right, and then I'm going to take our card because I like to edge out my stuff. It's just a thing I like to do. All right. So let's, get, I know I want to put this on here. What did I do? Oh, there it is. So let's get this on here. And kind of center it. There we go. And we're going to glue this little scrap to there. And it's just about, just use the little scraps that you have. Don't you know, think that you need anything special to make a cute card, because you really, you really don't. How cute is that? That doesn't say anything special. It just is. It's pretty the way it is. Okay, I do want to put one more thing on here. Um, what do I want to put, though? Hmm... 
think I know what I want to put. I'm going to grab something from one of my older sets. If I can find it. Yep, oh, there it is. So I have arrows from this other set. Yeah. So let's ink that up. And again, you can pair it with an envelope and you can just create a, a set of them for um, a gift for a friend or you can use them as gift ta tags on your holiday packages. Um, I love these just generic ones, non-holiday specific because you really, really can just have them around and they're good for anything. Whether it's just a note to say thank you or hello or happy birthday or, you know, condolences. This is just a generic card. It could be used for anything and it's really super pretty and could cheer somebody up. All right, that's it for today. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with your rubber stamps. I hope you are intrigued by my stamp sets and if you're interested in purchasing any of them you can go over to my Etsy shop. The link's in the description below along with my design team members and what they've come up with and I've seen little sneak peeks of what they did with the stamps and they're really super cute. So go have a look and see what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. If you can, support my uh, channel by shopping in the Etsy shop or go to my YouTube channel's main page and hit the fan funding button. Above all, don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.